Hi guys, it's Violet and Jilly again. Welcome to another episode of the Digestive System. So today we're going to talk about, we're going to hit the um, the small intestine. And this is like dear to my heart because when my son came down with um, celiac at first, I didn't really, you know, we know the, the, the gut, the small intestine, the small, the small intestine, the large intestine, but right. you know, in depth, you know, what, you know, the function, everything like that. I didn't know anything until, you know, my son came down with celiac and like, wow. The small intestine is so important, you know. As a matter of fact, um, the small intestine is primarily the um, the the organ for digestion, uh, digestion and absorption. So that's how uh, important the small intestine is. And you know, it's um, the small intestine. Even though it's narrow, even though the um, intestine is like large, and the, the small intestine is narrow. But it's actually um, it's a long secretion of the arms, um, it's like a tube. Wow. Like a, yeah, and um, the length is around twenty two feet. Twenty two feet. Yeah, twenty two feet. Yes, and wow. that's like it's like three three and a half times the length of our body. Wow. Yes. And that's so, all fitting inside of our, our this body. area right here. Yes, our body wow. is fully and wonderfully made. Fearful, wonderfully made. Yeah. So it contains a secretion. It's a, it contains secretion and enzyme, and it all is good for. It helps to break down like um, mucus and salt, you know, solution. What else I learned? Um, the digestive um, the small intestine is it's a major part of the um, the digestive system. You know, it helps absorb carbohydrate, protein, right. lipids, you know. Um, and, it, and it absorbs in the GI tract. The GI tract is, um, you know, that's where all the, the gut issues start from. So it absorbs all the nutrients, electrolytes, water, vitamins. Wow. So that, that's the reason why when my son was sick with celiac, and if you have celiac out there, you know, and you're using the bathroom. So if, everything you use, everything you eat, it just flushes through your system. Wow. So when, when you come on with celiac, like, you know, your symptom is um, lack of nutrients, you know, mm-hmm. so you're not absorbing, not absorbing any, um, an electrolyte and heat that for, you know, to, for the body to function and the, and the vitamin, you know, any um, water, the nutrients is not absorbing it. So what was happening to my son, um, when he used to eat, you know, food, it would go straight through his system. So the small intestine have like, like finger like, like villi, they call it villi. So you need that villi to help to absorb the food, you know, to use to absorb the food. So what was happening with my son? As soon as he eat the food, it would go straight to his system. The villi wasn't standing up. It was flat. Wow. So he wasn't absorbing any nutrients. He wasn't absorbing anything because of his villi wasn't functioning. Wow. You know, villi was, it was flat, you know, and it needed to stand up. So right. and the small intestine, you know, the villi, you know, you need to stand up. So his was flat, so... If you have like um, celiac disease out there, so celiac disease or Crohn's, this is what's happening. You know, especially with celiac, when you eat the food, it goes straight out of your body, no absorption. So um, weight loss, malnourished, you know, lack of nutrients, everything because your body. So you could up- be eating and eating and eating and you're still going to, your body's just going to exactly. keep dropping weight. Because you go into the bathroom, you go, it's, you go, I know with my son, it was flushing right through his system. Wow. Right through his system. And it's when I found about, um, it's gluten allergy, because gluten does that to you. Mm-hmm. Now, if you have gut issue and if you're allergic to gluten, that's, re- that's the reason you want to be very careful. If you have, um, gluten doesn't do anything for the body. So if you're eating gluten, it just sits there. It doesn't do anything for the body. And it's because what they put it in the arm um, though. The, the wheat flour, you know, the GMO and stuff like that. So, so you got the you have the wheat, rye, barley, and you also have a lot of hidden ingredients with gluten in there. Wow. So that really messes that really messes up the small intestine. So if you're out there facing, you know, um, gut issue, especially C, I know for celiac, you know, it's a major. It's like you want to leave it alone. You okay. don't even. Want yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to even inhale that gluten because I know for my son, even when he was inhaling the gluten in the air, because we used to, I used to, I love to bake. I used to make bread all the time, wheat bread all the time. And that just by him just inhaling that 
um, gluten that ate was caused them to have diarrhea. Like it, it was wow. absorbing anything. So it was like really sensitive to the gluten. Wow. So if you're having that problem, you want to make sure you get rid of all gluten. Even the cat food has to be gluten-free. You know, for right. him, it had to be gluten-free. So it had to be very, very strict. So the small intestine, you know, is, 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 it's so powerful. We are, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Really, really so we want to, and also I've learned that um the small the small intestine, you know, it has um acid. It is a small p um small acid uh, amount of acid in the, in the small intestine. So that's the reason you want to eat food to neutralize it, like to alkaline it. Right. No, so like like with your mom, she was having the acid problem. Right. Uh, uh yeah, uh yeah, uh small intestine you know was really really um suffering so you want to eat food like to um neutralize like alkaline food and we need acid food in our diet too but not as much as um as you know as we eat you know we eat too much acid right. food exactly acid, acid food so you gotta have that balance more um more alkaline food than acid food you have anything you want to say jilly uh, when you had mentioned the gluten, I, it brought my mind back because I remember when I first start my doc, you know, my doctor had told me that I needed to cut gluten out. I was stubborn and I told myself, okay, I'm going to cut it out for most of the time, but every once in a while, I'm going to have my pizza. Every once in a while, I'm going to have my pasta. And I did that and I got worse. Yes. <laughs> and it's just, it was a show, you know, one thing that I found is that, with, especially with the gluten, especially I cannot cheat on it. I have to stick with it because if I, if I was to sit here, even with all the time that I've been gluten free, if I was to sit here and eat gluten now, my body would reject it and it would react in a negative way. And it's crazy because I would tell my, I was telling, I didn't want to give it up because you know I love bread, I love pizza, I love biscuits and all that. So I had to pray about it and be like, okay. It's, you know, this is what it is. I need the strength to let it go because it's, you know, it's not easy. Some It's not easy, but yeah, it's, it's something that I've learned is that you have to stick with it, especially with the gluten, because when I was, even though I was only eating it, like I was telling myself, I'm going to just have pizza every now and again, I'll do this every now and then my body was being negatively affected. So, yeah. Yeah. The thing about it too, when you, especially when you have gut issues, the, the small intestine is so, 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 so sensitive, you know, right. and it's, like I said, I cannot stress enough, you know, if you have celiac, if you're facing celiac problem out there, please, I'm begging you, cut out the gluten. Yes. What, and you, you know, Jill, what Samuel went through is like, oh, it, yeah. It was like, and to see your child suffer that way, you know. So I remember his weight was just, dro- yeah. he was, his weight was just dropping. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I cut out the gluten, remove all the gluten from the house, it starts again, the weight again, everything stopped. All those symptoms stopped. And it's interesting what you say is that he can't even be around it. Like if he yeah. inhales it, he'll get a reaction. Yeah, at the time, you know, like right. I, I kept him away like for a good, for the for one year, you know, if I go, mm-hmm. you know, I, was, I, I wouldn't, I, it was so like, so, um, it was something, it was an experience I've never um, went through before. Right. It was like, I really got to um, protect my child, you know? Right. But like the um, the naturopathic doctor told me that gluten for him was poison in his system. Wow. And she was joking. She was not joking at all. Because I realized even when I took the gluten from the um, from his diet, I mean, it was, and it's not, he wasn't, he wasn't eating gluten a lot. Because right. as, as a baby, I knew he was allergic to gluten. Because when he was a baby, you know, you know, I breastfed all my children. And what I noticed with him, he used to um itch, used eczema, you know, a lot of eczema. Right. And um, yeah, so, but when he got, when, is when he was eight years old, you know, the, it really, because I would reintroduce a glutinous system just in case, you know, sometimes children, you know, go to stuff. Right. Food, I'm thinking, you know, yeah, you know, just in case. And then that, when he was eight, that's when all hell break loose you know it was just like wow happened so quickly so quickly you know so and that must have been terrifying for you for it to all uh, happen so fast and then it's something yeah. so new yeah it was like a can of worm because when I went to the doctor they said okay you have um he has um gluten you have celiac you know because I was I, I was associating celiac with um I mean with wheat allergy I said I know he was allergic to wheat but I didn't know anything about the gluten you know right. it's like 
it was like a can of worms open to me. You know, so I tell wow. people ever since his experience and I share it, share it with so many people and so many people have testified, you know, come again, tell me, yes, about that gluten, that's, that's what was happening to me. The gluten, and when they cut it up, they cut up the diet, you know, when having, right. cut, it share my story with my son, cut up the gluten, even at work, you know, some people say it's a, gl- I was talking to this lady the other day and she said she noticed when she eat um, certain things like gluten and stuff, you know, body hurts, you know, and right. so I said, um, I said, check, check the gluten. I said, it's the gluten that's causing it, you know, because for me, I had stopped, you know, with Sam and I had to, all of her life, all of us have to do, go on a gluten-free diet in the house, you know, right. when you're out, oh, if you want to eat meat, that's up to you, but in the house. So when, so I have, I didn't eat gluten like for a good five years, you know, so wow. I, so we're like two years ago, a year ago. Yeah. I was like, you know, let me just try some, because it, it didn't bother me. It was him. Right. And you know, I tried that gluten. I started feeling pain in my body. Wow. Like, what in the world? So I said, okay. So I realized if I touch that gluten, I'm gonna, it's going to cause me pain. So I don't do it anymore. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So I, so I came up with a gluten sensitive as, as well, gluten allergy as well. So it's not, for me, it's not the, um, the gut, it's the pain in my body. And so a lot of people also with, um, gluten issue also have pain you know so it's not only yeah. the gut feel a lot of pain too so you, did, you said back pain right in, in your side you'll feel yes, pain yeah yes yes inflammatory it's, it's inflaming my body you know it's mm-hmm, right. body. So, so eat like i said gluten you know the bread is good and it's what it's not it's not the wheat per se was what they're doing to the, the um the grains you know the grains right. the seeds and that i mean men have tampered with everything that's right you know, they tamper with the meat, the flesh. They tamper with the grains. That's the right. Veg- everything. So it's the same with oats. Because if you think about it, oats are naturally gluten free. They don't have gluten in them, but because of where they're processed, they cannot yeah. label them as gluten free. And that's why you have specific oats that are labeled gluten free because they're in a gluten free facility. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, in the wild, you can go out there and um, eat oats, you know, because it's right. not processed. But like I said, where they process it, so. You know, it's, we have to just be careful and um, do what we can to help, to really have the digestive system, you know? Yes, right. that. And I have another testimony to give with the, I know it have nothing to do with that, um, the small intestine, but the, you were talking about the, my, my chest burn the other day. Yes. That one day, so I thought that was over, you know? So I went and I, I had something, and I forgot what I had, and it was, you know, it's, it's happened again, you know, it's started to happen again. So the most I impressed me to, to eat some dandelion, can't have dandelion all over the yard. People think it's weed, but it's so beneficial for the body. Wow. So uh, every part of the dandelion is so good for the body. So I came and I picked some dandelion, um, cause it's anti-inflammatory. Wow, I didn't know that. Inflammatory, yes, I came and I ate the dandelion, um, um leaf and i'm telling you i could as i'm chewing it the liquid extracting the liquid from the um the, the leaf i could just feel my body it, it was just just healing wow was, if you have this is a side note guys if you have dandelion in your yard do not it's an it's a powerful herb it's not a weed it's a powerful herb do not throw it away because i'm look 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 at my um yard right now i'm seeing dandelion all over them go out there want to pick them the flowers you could use for um, tea, the leaves wow. you could use. And but dandelion, you can find almost anywhere. Yeah, the leaves you could, and you want to make sure you find not not on the street, on the street because you know, like, find somewhere in the back of the yard or something like that. You know, right. like less traffic. You know, so you could ever part of dandelion is is good for digestion, very very good. It's good for digestive um system as well. I'm very, gonna try that. Oh yes, good try, it, Jill. Um, it was it's it's just amazing. Wow. I was drinking this particular water as well. Another side note. <laughs> I, was drinking, <laughs> I was drinking this particular water as well. It's a um, it's a, a spring water, right? Mm-hmm. And, but it was still giving me that um burn, you know. So the most I impressed me to use alkaline water, not alkaline, yeah, alkaline water. It was nine five nine point five pH. And I'm telling you, that thing helps so much. Wow. So it's what I'm saying is 
it's good when you when you listen to the body. When you listen to your body, and the body's telling you, okay, give that to me. That's what I need, you know. And you give it to him. Give give that to your body. Yeah. Just like when he had the dandelion leaves, you immediately felt your body starting to heal. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm telling it's just like when your body's gonna tell you when it don't like something, it's gonna tell you when it does like something too. Yes, yes, exactly. So it's very important to listen to the body. The body gives a signal, you know. Signal. Pain. And it's the you know, the the most sizing person is to um take that herb right there, my child, or take this take that food right there, the fruit and vegetable, do it because. That voice is not from us. It's not from the devil. Because the devil's not going to tell you to take something to heal your body. Because That's he wants, right. Yeah, it wants to be in pain. So if you are out there facing that, just a problem, you know. Listen to your body. It's very important to listen to your body. And let us take care of the small intestine. You know, it's very important. We put proper food in there. Like I said, let's, I know for sure that wheat, gluten, messes with the small intestine. I know that for sure from experience with my son and maybe not feeling a symptom right now, but later on, you know, you're going to, it's, it's doing something to, to the small intestine. Like you said, it, it's, it has no benefit to the body. There's, it has no benefit. Yeah. I know for sure that gluten damages the small intestine and you might see it in any symptom, but it does. For right. my experience, Experience. If, if you're not eating wheat, that's like you go on your own, go for yourself. You know, your homegrown wheat, leave it alone. That's right. like, in, like in Jamaica, it was said, left it alone. <laughs> left it alone. Left it alone. <laughs> left it alone. Yes. yes. So I just want to come in and share what you guys about the small intestine. You have anything to say, Jilly? No, that was, that was great. That was, okay. I, I enjoyed that. So I want the side note guy, but it was like, man, I have a testament to share. I want to share it, you know, so. That's, I'm definitely going to try that. The dandelion. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to forge, you know, my dandelion um, in the yard. I have so much done that I have one acre and I have so much dandelion in the yard. So yeah, I'm very excited. And guess what? They sell it at the store. They sell those dandelion at the store. You could, it's right in your yard. You could, you know. Right. Pick it, you know, and make your um your you could do so much stuff with that dandelion for you could make syrup you could make ting tinctures you can make um teas you know there's so many things you can make with it so i'm gonna do it before my husband cut the lawn because you need cutting so i'm gonna go out and catch those <laughs> get all the dandelion the dandelion yes so um thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you next week for another episode of the digestive system and i hope you guys learned something it's even one person you know learn something from this and just our ex- personal experience with sharing, you know? Yeah. And so um, once more, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And also check out Jilly Bean YouTube channel as well. What's the name of it, Jilly? Jilly Bean. Jilly Bean. Okay. All right, guys. Bye for Hi, now. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. It's Violet. It's your body. And today I'm going to be forging some dandelion. This is my yard. And, you know, we have it all over the lawn. So before my husband um start to cut the grass i'm going to use use this you know to make my teas and you know for all all different type of thing but i want to show you something i'm talking about the dandelion but i want to show you something else this right here it's um it's called dead nettle and this can be used if you have seasonal allergy you can use that you know for the allergies so look at this the most i place this in in our um spare you know in the yard you know people call it weed but it's not these are edible plants good for it that's the white clover that's clover right there see that's white clover and oh this this is violet too look at this purple violet is coming up i think it's purple violet but um see right there yes so i am going to be picking the flowers and the um tell us i'm give you a testimony about the leaves right so it was this week you know i had some um mandarin and last week i had some mandarin i was doing a lot of smoothies and i just my esophagus just started to burn you know burn and with that burn bringing um it's inflamed it started inflamed so i was feeling pain feeling burn and i 
the most I impress me to come home and pick some dandelion leaves, you know, the, the flowers. Not the flowers, the leaves. I pick some dandelion leaves till I came and I did. I think I picked around like eight. And I start to um eat the dandelion leaves. And I'm telling you guys, I could feel my body, I could feel the medicinal populace in the dandelion. And it just start to just um soothe my esophagus and the pain went away. It was like wow. It was like I just could not believe it. like wow. But hey, it pays to listen to the body. When your body's telling to, you know, um, stop, you know, giving it things. Sorry about that, guys. So when the body is telling you, okay, I'm in flame, I need some help. You know, when you feel pain, the body says, assist me, I need help. So that's what I did. Like I said, the most I impressed me to come and take these um, leaves and eat them. This is uh, it's high in anti-inflammatory properties. It's so good. Do some research on dandelion, guys. Do some research on dandelion. So, you know, I'm going to be foraging these and I'm using the flowers to make teas, the greens for my in my salad. I just eat it by itself. I didn't put any. I didn't eat anything with it. It's bitter, but guess what? It's so good for your bitter stuff. It's good for the blood anyway. So it's so 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 good for you. You know, so right in your yard, you have so much medicine in the yard. You know, that it's not weed. It is not weed, guys. You know, we were told it was weed and, you know, it's not good. But these stuff is, the most I gave us the, you said they gave us the leaves and the herbs for the healing of the nations. So these are healing properties. And guess what? They sell these at the store. I mean, why not pick it from your yard? You know, get it from your yard. Look, I got these all over the yard, so... I'm going to be definitely, you know, picking these before my husband cut the lawn. So I'm just gonna come in and show you if you have dandelion on your property and your yard, do not spray it. If you spray it, don't forge it. If, if it's good, if you spray it, it's not gonna be good anymore. But if, it, if you, you know, if you don't spray it, please go out there and pick it, dry it out, you know, to make tea. Very, very good for you. So. Just want to come in and share this with you guys that it pays to listen to the body it pays you know to listen to the most high you know when he's instructing you to do something and just have fun out there picking those dandelion greens and the dandelion plants and it comes up in the spring it's springtime now so you have a lot of them now so it pays to um Listen to the body, guys, and the body will tell you exactly what's going on with it. So, if you come in and share with you guys, I'm gonna get ready to forge my look. All of this, look at this, all this dead, dead nettle. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is medicine right here, guys. This is if you have seasonal, all seasonal allergies. This is good right here for it. Do some research on dead nettle. Do some research. So, oh, look at this right here. I got medicine all over the yard, guys. All over. So, <laughs> if you guys like this video, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.